Welcome to the Wicked Gamer and Collector. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, we are going to take a close look at the Sega Saturn. It's a freaking nightmare to collect, but this video will not be all negative. Despite the prices going up and things are getting really hard to find, as are other problems I've seen in the past. But when you're looking at the Sega Saturn, it's a really great time also to collect. Because when it comes to retro gaming, there are like basically companies releasing new products for old hardware. And I think that is a pretty damn awesome thing. We're having like upscalers, we're having like new cases that you can buy. There's a lot of great things going on. PlayStation also is like the similar thing. Sega Dreamcast. But of course in this video we're going to talk about only Sega Saturn. So the Sega Saturn I started collecting a couple of years ago. I didn't grow up with the Sega Saturn. For me it was all about PlayStation. I cannot even remember I knew somebody that had a Sega Saturn. But in this video, just want to talk about what are the new things, developments, stuff that we can do with this device. And yeah, not to forget like how is collecting now and is it even worth picking up a couple of these products. Yeah, I read in my previous comments a lot of people did own a Sega Saturn, sold it off, had a lot of regrets about it. But if you're thinking getting the stuff back, is it still worth picking up or is it something you just need to avoid? No. So let's talk about very briefly about Sega Saturn PAL collecting. So we live in the region here that we're having the PAL systems. And PAL system can be found very easily. And the problem with the PAL system is that everything is like super expensive. And like if you're looking at different regions like the US, Japan, like PAL is like the most or better said the less interesting to collect in my opinion because they are like freaking expensive so the most interesting controls that we're going to get is this version it's like your typical sig button controller that we got with all of the pal systems and yeah the controller i do like this original sega saturn controller to be honest i'm a big playstation fan but still the, the most interesting thing is the d-pad the shape of it and this thing plays just amazing so then we're having the 3D controller. I never owned it back in the day. I did own like a Sega normal controller, but this thing, nope, never had it. Since the first time I'm basically holding it in my hand. And I can't tell you like it was quite a different experience compared with the PlayStation controllers. Let's talk about the games. So the games, it's a little bit of a bummer when it comes to collecting here. So here, finding these games is absolutely crazy expensive. And finding one in good condition is even like the next problem. So here we're going to see like this virtual fighter look how bust up it is and if you think the playstation boxes are freaking awful look at this like it came loose i can still re-glue it you can see some double-sided tape so it's not a big of a problem and yeah the discs oh man like i can still remember when i bought this thing from the seller and i did complain with him because this thing was like completely scratched up you can still polish it but you know like that's the thing when it comes to these ball games finding them in good condition you can find them but they were like extra extra freaking expensive and i was purchasing a couple of games like doom look at this one like look at best up this thing is it's look like a cardboard around plastic so the way how they made it is pretty damn nice but here you can see like we have some options for box protectors the box protectors are like another thing you can buy but i find it not really convenient if you want to grab your game out of the case So there was this collector on the local marketplace that was selling off a lot of stuff and I picked up a Paul Sega Saturn. But nowadays a console itself sells around 100 up to 150 euro here. So absolutely nuts if you think about it. And you need to be lucky if the laser still works because that is of course the next problem. So when it comes to these PAL systems, I love the black color, I love the form factor, but finding a good working version and then even like finding some decent games for it, it's going to be like a freaking nightmare. And I think that is one of the problems when you're looking into PAL collecting when it comes to Sega Saturn nowadays. So I figured, so do you know what? Let's take a close look at Sega Saturn from different regions. So I came across the Sega Saturn on the local marketplace and i was more like hmm, i was quite intrigued with this i'm like maybe this is a great option to play some old school schmups and just see how the prices will develop here and yeah so the functionalities are almost the same when it comes to the paul version only the games comes in a normal jewel case plastic so what i do like about these games is that if something breaks off you can just easily get replacements some time ago i picked up a couple of games from a fellow collector and like games like puzzle fighters and i noticed that these things are way cheaper than when it comes to the PAL. So when you, some games like from the Japanese are like around 
30 euro you're paying like 50 even up to 100 euro for a single pal game yeah like that are the crazy prices that we're going to get nowadays tactical formula i think i got it one for free virtual fighter is a great one and commander conquer was not very expensive sometimes you can find these awesome games and so far i understand that these things are like in game fully in english so that is not going to be any issue so you can still enjoy your games and of course we have a lot of amazing games like bomberman so collecting for the Japanese consoles are way convenient because they are like way cheaper. So if you're getting into this stuff, I think maybe you can pick up in Japanese. And yeah, if you're looking at the game quality, I think it's also way easier to find a good quality game than these horrible PAL stuff like with these big boxes. They're always most of the time freaking rubbish because they are like completely messed up. And yeah, I think Japanese collecting is going to be awesome in the future and more cheaper too. Okay, so there is new technology for retro hardware. And I already told you in the beginning of this video, it's not going to be like me complaining about prices and being all negative. No, absolutely not, because that is not everything is a nightmare. It's an amazing time to collect because they are like releasing new products for old retro hardware. Think about this awesome casing. So if you're having like a very filthy or broken casing, you can just find replacements on AliExpress. You can pick them up for not a lot of money. And replacing is, in my opinion, easy peasy because it's like easy swappable. You only need to have a screwdriver and the end result is pretty damn awesome. You can see your disc spinning. I think that is alone worth it. So I did a full review about this Sega Saturn. I picked it up for not a lot of money back in the day. It was completely like yellow and yeah, some parts were missing. So I picked up myself a Sega Saturn case. Blue is my favorite color, so I get myself the blue edition of course. And everything is brand new and they are like releasing different colors even in the future so i think it's pretty damn awesome and you can do some awesome things with the sega saturn now so there is only one casing that can be modded so far i understand of so there's one thing you need to take consideration but if you want to do a teardown i already told you you only need to be like having a screwdriver and be very gentle remove all the parts i'm also going to replace the psu because there is a modification for that i don't want to use a step down converter and yeah getting this thing apart is going to be quite easy Sadly, not all of the parts were in good condition, so I cleaned most of them up. So we can basically like put it in the new case. And I must say, like putting this thing in the new case was quite easy. I did a full tutorial about it, so I would say check it out if you are interested how you need to do this. And also in this video, I will show you how you need to install the PSU. I did review the version 1 and the version 2. The only thing that we're going to need actually is like an external power supply and we don't need this gigantic PSU anymore. And yeah, again, like if you want to keep your system original, I completely get that, but I just want to remove this thing. And for me, it's more of a convenient thing. Everything is going to be included in the kit, including some extra 3D printed parts to give it eventually like the finishing touch and makes this thing feel complete. And I want to say original, but you would almost think this thing is original this way. Another great piece of hardware just released when making this video was the 1080p upscaler for Sega Saturn. It's not like the ultimate solution, but it is like a convenient thing. You plug it into your machine and you can just upscale it to 1080p. And yeah, we're going even going to get the option for 4x3 and 60x9 SPS ratio. Sometimes you don't even have this option which you're having like a $24 upscaler from AliExpress. But this is like a really nice dongle. It works on both regions. So we can use it on the PAL and we can use it in the Japanese edition. You can just plug it in like that and you plug in here your HDMI cable. But take consideration you need to have some extra 5 volt power. So you need to have a power adapter separately. And when you plug it in, here you can see it has some issues when it comes to connection. But the switching between XPS ratio works very well. And we can just enjoy some old school Doom on my Sega Saturn with the original XPS ratio and beautiful upscaled signal. And if you just want to have the pixel perfect upscaling and with zero input lag, there are some options out there that I'm not going to include in this video because that will be something like a subject for a different video because we're going to get very expensive upscaling that costs at least $100. Then we're going to get this beast. This is the Sega Saturn all-in-one cartridge. I did a full testing of this cartridge, but basically what it can do, it can unlock your system so you can play different regions. So that comes in handy if you have a certain region system and you just want to play another one. For example, this is a Japanese console and you just want to play the PAL games on it. 
But the tricky part is getting the right one, because this is the ultimate 4 and one but we're also going to get another one with action replay only and 8 megabytes of memory card. And then we're going to get like different options here. So I think there were like 4 or 3 different versions. So when you're ordering one of those, you need to take consideration what you want to do with it. Do you want to have like the RAM cards, you want to have the memory, stuff like that. Something is highly requested here on the channel and yep, this also has the option for cheating. So if you want to have uncertain sort of actual replay option in this, the pseudo Kai Light also includes a lot of cheating games. So what you can do is like implement them and you have like unlimited life and Darius boost. But you need to take consideration, it depends what kind of region you're going to play because these issues are like for the Europe and the US and you cannot use them in the Japanese. I tried it. But I think if you're having a Sega Saturn or if you want to buy one, this is just a must have, let's say, multifunctional card. If you need like some extra RAM for a game or you want to have some cheating, this thing can just freaking do it all and unlocking your system for different regions. So it doesn't even matter what kind of system you're having, this is the ultimate card in my opinion. Yeah, let me know in the comments what do you think of this. Yeah, it would be even more like epic if you can put an SD card in it and play games like that. That would be even more crazier. Maybe in the future we'll release something like that. But for now, this is the 401 card. Okay, so we're talking about SD cards, but if you think you have seen everything, there were like a lot of companies are getting into the Sega Saturn, but this time, putting an SD card in it. So you replace the optical drive. I'm not the biggest fan of it because you just have no option of playing your original games anymore. But it is like crazy if you think about it. So if you want to have your full collection on an SD card and preserve your original games this way, it's like super easy. Take consideration we're having the Phoebe, we're having like different brands out there. I think the biggest problem we're having at the moment, there's like not a good supply of these devices. They are very hard to find and if you're going to find some of them, they are like absolutely ridiculous expensive. And that's a little bit of a bummer. So I'm hoping in the future there will be like some like solution where we can pick this thing up for not a lot of money, slap them in your Sega Saturn system and we can just awesomely play some games with a very easy plug and play solution. I must say like what I find very convenient that you don't need to do any soldering so that is a very positive thing because some of the consoles will require this like on PlayStation 1. So we can just easily play the games, take consideration that it will not give you like a big boost in the loading time but it is just more like a convenient thing. So I'm hoping that we can get this ultimate solution that we can still use this drive but we can also use the SD card for just convenient and make it even easier. New ways to play. Yeah, absolutely, because there are like so many ways to play on a Sega Saturn. I didn't even review every single piece of hardware. I wanted to re have the racing wheel, but I couldn't find it very easily. So I'm more like, okay, need to skip this one. Maybe in the future we'll make a video about it. I tested out some Virtual Cop arcade stuff. And when it comes to, let's like, say, aftermarket controllers, even there we're going to get some amazing options nowadays. So I am quite happy to like talk about it and also to show and play with replacement controls because sometimes we just need them because the original controls are completely wear out or having a lot of issues and yep i have had some issues with my sega center controls but retrobit is one of those many companies releasing good quality controllers that we can have, like have this original experience with I also made a complete testing video about it and I must say like, I was super surprised to see how good this D-pad was, how responsive it is and when you compare it with the original Japanese 6 button 5 pad I had. And these things would make me very happy to see nowadays that even collecting is going to be a nightmare. There are like still this positive bright side when it comes to aftermarket and good solutions. Okay, so this is some really old school Sega tech, the Sega Saturn Twin Stick. I picked it up from a local marketplace and I was super excited to show you here. So I made a full video about it. It was a lot of fun. I need to get used to it because the controls like were so weird in my opinion. But the gameplay, it was just a basic Gundam clone game. But when you're getting the hang of it, it's so much fun. And it's just a completely new way. Even like this is old school hardware, it's so much fun to play. And it still looks amazing if you ask me. Another like piece of let's say history is Virtua Cop. I know a lot of people, a lot of you like basically played as an arcade and I would never played it myself on the Sega Saturn. So I was excited to check it out. And I must say like I was surprised about the music, the way everything was looking. The light gun is just basic, a piece of plastic with buttons in my opinion. But when you're looking at the way how you need to play this, it's so awesome. It's something completely different and in my opinion, these games are just fun to play even after all those years. 
So another piece of hardware I was very surprised with was this 3D controller. I'm saying like I never played it as a child because I didn't own a Sega Saturn, but this thing was pretty damn awesome. Okay, so then we're having like the original controller. I was also surprised with this one because this weird looking D-pad. I didn't expect anything, but it plays amazing. To be honest, it plays even better than PlayStation. Then we're having like the fight pad. In my opinion, I don't know what the official name is, but for me it's a fight pad and it plays amazingly for fighting games. So this is going to be like one of my favorite controllers for the Saturn but one thing I was surprised even more was this arcade stick that comes with actually like a real arcade joystick or with four micro switches of course the button itself I like the membrane like with a normal controller nothing really fancy but I'm gonna say that I was quite surprised by it and that is really cool it has some even some awesome turbo function I made a full review about it like I just need to dedicate a video to this thing because I'm a big fan of arcade I love arcade stick and this is just the next level when it comes to original hardware Okay, so I played some Virtual Fighter, I played some shmups. For example, what I loved about the Virtual Fighter game in combination with the stick, it just gives you this authentic arcade feeling to it, and Virtual Fighter is a great game for on the Sega Saturn. Another thing I loved about this thing is the turbo function, especially when you're playing some shmups. Normally you need to keep bashing the freaking button, and you can just put them in turbo mode. You can even have this slider, you can even go even like ultra turbo mode. It's freaking awesome, I love the stick for what it is. But okay, why is collecting a nightmare then? So with the great developments that we're going to get, the Sega Saturn, finding it is quite difficult. There's a lot of stuff that we can find, but oh man, if I'm finding this great game, it is always like super expensive, like even going up to the 100 euro. And that is like the nightmare of Sega Saturn at the moment. And I'm thinking it will never be changing and the price will go even up in the future. Let me know what you think of the Sega Saturn. Did you ever own it or did you sold it and you still regret it? You want to get one, but would you consider getting it? Because of the prices. Well, thank you for watching. Consider subscribing, hit that little bell, become on the Wicked family, and this is going to be an awesome thumbnail. And I will see you in the next video.